What is a circle? How would you define a circle? Most kids will say it's round. Most mathematicians will give you something to the effect of you've got a point in movement equidistant around center point. That simply describes the function of a compass. That doesn't describe a circle. So we just automatically assume that's what a circle is, it has a center, and I have to question that because my experience is different. See, there's a lot that the circle offers experientially that gives us an understanding that we don't get when we just learn a formula. In thinking about the sphere, it's the only form that's inherently whole. How do we get that information out without destroying it? Take the sphere, compress it down to a flat plane, you've got a circular disk in space. There's so much of mathematics that can be demonstrated just as easily and just as simply through the folds of the circle, which is one of the benefits of folding circles rather than talking about abstract concepts. With teachers, when we do some folding, and we fold the tetrahedron, then we open it up and we look at what's been generated. We look at the right angle triangles, we look at the Pythagorean theorem, and then we discover it through talking about relationship of parts. And I go, oh, that's what it means. It's that simple. So what the circle has done in the first folding, it's, it's giving us its origin, which is the sphere, and where it's going, which is the tetrahedron. The tetrahedron is the only structural pattern that universally exists. So the rest of what we do with this circle is an exploration of that pattern and all of the forms and the systems that can be generated. There is no way to anticipate from the drawing of the circle, the image, what can be generated either in information or in the forms and the systems. What's in this video gives you a sense of the sequential development of information and how it's all interrelated, it all just unfolds from the circle.